spin up the wheels, get some surface temperature into the rear tyres to uh, minimise the wheel spin and use a traction control to get the drive off the line that they need. And there's a, a Sauber that is uh, that's crossways, he turned too late into his box. Yeah, strange position, when the lights go off, we'll be racing 66 laps at Barcelona, begin now! Great start from Raikkonen, and Alonso has passed Weber. He's got him on the run down to turn one, someone's gone on the grass, there's a lot of action there. One of the Toyotas, I believe, was involved in that. Look at Pissy Keller coming down the inside. Weber has been bumped down into third place by one of the two Renaults. Raikkonen leads then, Alonso up into second, we've got a Minardi stalled on the start line, and Weber, as we feared, has dropped down into fourth place off the start line. And that's bad news where that Minardi is stalled, it's on the exit of the fast corner, albeit on the inside of the racetrack. Three or four cars at the back of the grid didn't get away properly, and one, of course, then didn't get away at all, and uh, understandably, they have deployed the safety car, the double-waved yellows, in fact, there were at least two cars then that didn't get away, and the, the clutch mechanism that the marshals should have easily to hand to push is not functioning on one of the Minardis. It's both the Minardis that have stalled on the grid. The two cars are being pushed off the grid, so they got about as far as the start-finish line, the two brand-new Minardis, before their race was run. Christian Albers and Patrick Friesacker what frustration for Minardi team. You come all this way, you put all the practice laps in, you serve countless bowls of pasta to your sponsor guests, and you go 60 yards. And Paul, uh, Paul Stoddart not here this weekend to see this unfolding. Uh, he'll be on the phone in a hurry. So one car parked out on racetrack, but the cars will now be there two corners away from appearing on the pit straight behind the safety car. And this idea of, of bringing the safety car much further upstream so it picks up the drivers before they get to the danger zone at the start is, is very good and very clever. Well, this will push the uh, pit stops back a little bit. Another look at the start. You can see the Minardis at the back not moving. Watch out for Alonso on your right, behind Raikkonen. And you can see it was Montoya that went up onto the grass. There's the two Minardis going nowhere. But you see that dust and uh, flying through the air. It's Montoya. Watch out for him. You see them Sauber out of position. I wouldn't be surprised uh, if Villeneuve, uh, there's a, a Jordan Toyota in the back as well, got away. So I wouldn't be at all surprised if Villeneuve uh, was out of position on the start and uh, may get penalised for that. He turned too late. They stand on the left hand side, the, the cleaner side, to keep their tyres as clean as possible, as long as possible. And he turned too late across to the right hand side. If you think a, a London taxi's got a good uh, turning lock, well, these are exactly the opposite. They're terrible for any kind of uh, steering lock on a Formula One car because of the steering geometry in the, in the fat front tyres. Well, the safety car will come in at the end of this lap. We'll be green flag racing. Just one lap down then under the safety car. The order, Raikkonen, Alonso, Ralph Schumacher, third, Weber down to fourth, Trulli fifth, sixth is Fisichella, seventh, Michael Schumacher got in front of Montoya. That's absolutely crucial for the story of this Grand Prix and for Michael's story particularly. Montoya will be desperately trying to get him back off the restart. Coulthard is ninth, Massa 10th, Villeneuve 11th. And here it is on board with Alonso. No problem at all out dragging that BMW Williams down the start line. Once again, Williams very poor off the start. That's all about electronics and, and the clutch mechanism, how the clutch comes in and bites and weight distribution of the car, the, the aero, because as soon as you're up to, say, 50 miles an hour, 80 kilometers per hour, the aero is having quite a dramatic effect already, even in those uh, early stages of the acceleration zone down to turn one. And uh, all of those factors come together. And there, uh, Heidfeld and Rubens at the back, very neatly threading their way through the non-starters. That was amazing. Heidfeld, inches to spare from hitting the back of that Minardi. So, Raikkonen bunches them up. It's up to him when he drops the gas to get this race started again. The safety car will have pulled out in front and come into the pit lane coming off turn 13. They're trying to get these two Minardis going again, trying to get them into the race. But we should concentrate on the restart because it's imminent. The safety car, I can see, is coming down into the pit lane now. Raikkonen starts to pick up the pace out of 12 and up the hill down towards 13. The two Minardis trying to uh, get themselves going as Kimi Raikkonen exits the final